So there was a long period of exile in Damascus with some intermittent travel to safe countries, I presume, for your father and for yourself, uh, but not oh. back to Pakistan yeah. for some time. So what was it like to grow up in Damascus as the young daughter of an exiled revolutionary? What, what was the... Well, it was fairly boring, actually, <laughs> um, because people... I get asked this question, and people think that I sort of grew up um, in a James Bond movie, but it, it, it wasn't. We lived in a two-bedroom flat. Um, my father was a terrible cook and was under the impression that he was a wonderful cook <laughs> and was always saying things like, oh, you know, the best cooks in the world are men. And only, only bad cooks say that, you know. Um, so we, we were alone. You know, he raised me as a single parent till the age of seven. Um, and after he married um, Rinoa, my mother, our life stabilized and it normalized. And my brother was born and we had quite an ordinary life. It was an ordinary life except for the fact that I knew I wasn't home. That I was always being reminded not to get too comfortable because this wasn't home. And until the age of seven, I had never seen home. I had never been to Pakistan. Mm. Um, so it, it was, I suppose, typical in, in, in this way that an exile's life is typical, mm. where you dream and you, you hear and you eat a, a different world than the one you're living in. So